Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geek and Noise and I've got some really exciting news to share with you all today. And that is that I am now the Geek Ambassador for Hotspot Shield. Now, Hotspot Shield offers up a VPN service for Mac OS X, also Windows, also the Android platform, and also iOS. And it actually offers up these services to protect you from various things like malware, uh, your online identity, viewing uh, blocked websites, etc., a whole host of different things. And over the next sort of two to three months, I'm gonna be sharing with you a series of videos really discussing how to stay safe online, how you can protect your identity, how you can protect your computer, uh, how you can access perhaps blocked websites and viruses, whether they're prevalent on the Mac platform, whether they're prevalent on the Windows platform and how to protect against those, a whole range of subjects to hopefully help you guys and girls sort of stay safe while you're surfing the internet. Now I'm gonna kick things off in this particular video talking about viruses on the Mac platform. And I chose this subject for the first video because I use a Mac. I use a Mac Mini, I've got one just over here in my studio. In my editing room, I've got a Mac Pro. And for my mobile computing, I use a MacBook Air. And for many, many, many years, I've said to you all there is no need for virus protection on the Mac platform. And to a certain degree, I still think that's true today, but certainly in the last sort of year to 18 months, there have been a lot more problems where Macs have been targeted uh, with things like malware and viruses that you can protect yourself against nowadays. Now there are lots of options available to you. You can get free virus protection. Uh, Sophos do one. Uh, there's Avast, they do really good virus protection. There's also Norton, which uh, was what I used when I was using Windows PCs a long, long time ago. I always used to use Norton. When I used to be a graphic designer, we used to run Norton products within the office to protect against viruses. And every now and again, you used to get a virus that the Norton protection wouldn't help with, and you'd have to uh, download like a removal tool, tool to remove a specific virus. And it was a big issue back then. Now, of course, viruses are more uh, commonplace on the Windows platform, and that's because there's more Windows machines out there, and the viruses are really targeted towards the masses, so the more people they can affect, the better for them, for whatever reason they have for doing these particular viruses. And on the Mac platform, obviously, there's less of a user base, so they're not quite as commonplace, but they are certainly out there. Now, if I was gonna choose one particular antivirus protection for myself, I'd probably go with Intego. And that's because they really hit the market at the time uh, when Mac users were looking for various tools, not just for viruses, but for backing up, um, for cleaning your systems, etc. And they do lots of different uh, applications that are available for the Mac platform and really became a favorite of mine over many, many years. But another option is Hotspot Shield. Now, Hotspot Shield uh, is a VPN service, and it allows you to do lots and lots of different things, and that includes things like protecting your IP address when you're online, surfing the web anonymously, which you may want to do from time to time, uh, protecting yourself from snoopers as well. You can also secure your web sessions for online shopping so that your personal info is actually encrypted that's really important, that's a really important thing to do. Especially if you're perhaps doing online shopping or accessing bank information when you're on a public Wi-Fi network, for example. Uh, it also offers up malware protection, and if you ever need to access a blocked website, maybe you're in a country that blocks Facebook, for example, or maybe you're in an education establishment that blocks YouTube, then you can certainly use it to access blocked websites as well. Now, they do a free service, which is completely free of charge, which is ad supported. And they also do like a premium or elite service, which you actually pay a six monthly or a yearly subscription fee for. So it's well worth checking out. Um, it might not necessarily protect you from the whole host of viruses that are out there, um, but certainly with wise surfing on the internet and the use of a VPN from the likes of Hotspot Shield, I think it can give you really good protection and a good alternative to stuffing your system full of virus protection software. I still have this underlying thought that 
virus protection software isn't 100% necessary for the Mac platform, but you should recognize that there are threats out there. And if you can protect yourself from those on the Mac platform in different ways, then it's well worth exploring. So keep your eye out for those dodgy websites. And especially one of the things that I will talk about in future videos is using like public Wi-Fi. A very important thing to be aware of is not just to log on to any public Wi-Fi network, but I'll talk about how you can protect yourself more in public environments in a future video. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my good news at the beginning of this video. I'm really pleased to have discovered Hotspot Shield for myself and share that information with you. Please hit like on this video. Please subscribe as well because that really does help me and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.